Greta Thunberg has been named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. The 16-year-old climate activist has been raising <laughs> raising the awareness of the climate change that's been happening. The environmentalist is getting a lot of praise. And criticism from conservatives who are lashing out that this little girl gets on the cover while there could have been other people around, including President Trump. He should have been the one nominee. But here's the thing. It doesn't work like that. It, in order to get to Time Magazine, there's got to be a, a huge curriculum. You have to go through some sort of... Uh, <laughs> you have to have some sort of accomplishment that changes the world. I'm not sure if... Uh, Having Ukraine in a quid pro quo counts. Or probably talking to North Korea about, I don't know, hotel deals. Just name a few. You're telling me that a girl who's trying to raise awareness, who's trying to become this uh, eco-friendly person, who's trying to help the planet, doesn't deserve it as much as the President of the United States who has done nothing more than enslave children in cages or just crossing the border to seek asylum. Yeah, that totally makes sense. It gets even worse. Now, Trump is under the impeachment inquiry. There's a vote going on soon. But I digress. But I don't digress. The fact that Trump decided to lash out on Twitter to Greta Thunberg. And basically, I'm just going to paraphrase what he says, but Trump is mocking her disability. She's, she's got Asperger's. She's, uh, she's autistic. No, I'm me being autistic. I can understand that. But basically, it's like, like, Greta, you're angry all the time. You need to relax. Go watch a movie. Chill, Greta, chill. Like, who do you think you're talking to? And it gets even worse. And it, it gets worse because you have Melania Trump backing him up. Melania has also come, out, come after Greta Thunberg. And here's the main reason why Trump and Melania are going after Greta Thunberg. Because they didn't get it in the Time Magazine. They didn't get Time Magazine person of the year. Wait, wait, why did I get Time Magazine? You baby! Oh my God! People are gonna talk about me being whiny about this. <laughs> Snowflakes, gotcha. Anyway, conservatives have been lashing out. Trump administration has been lashing out. Trump supporters have been lashing out. Trump has been lashing out. Everyone's been lashing out on, on Greta Thunberg. And just keep in mind that there was a Constitution professor who, <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, brought up Baron Trump. Not really, but in a sense, she mentioned that, I mean, yes, Donald Trump can name his son Baron. But he cannot name him a Baron. Now, granted, the wording was kind of—I mean, I'm just paraphrasing—and the wording was kind of uh, loose, but that doesn't really make any sense. And you know, conservatives are relaxing. I was like, "Don't go after Baron! Don't go after Baron!" Like, wait a minute. So you're lashing out at at people at a constitutional professor for mentioning Baron Trump? But it's okay to go after a 16-year-old girl? Yeah, you can understand the hypocrisy about that. And this gets even... And I mean, seriously. Trump needs to worry about this, administra uh, this impeachment investigation going on. If he... I mean, it just kind of baffles how it how he's trying to make sense of what's going on. Now, I did a video a few weeks ago where, yeah, Trump had said that I don't get my due process. I need to testify. I want to explain my situation. And also, you know, I was, the Judiciary Committee is saying, like, okay, come on in. 
we'll have you uh, testify to your own behalf. And the Trump and Trump administration going like, no, 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 do not, I will not go and participate. You will leave it us alone. And Trump is still going out saying, oh, no, I did my deep process. So which is it? You're not getting your due process, but you're not going to testify to clarify your due process? Yeah. Tell me how that makes sense. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting pretty worked up. Donald Trump is a child. A 72-year-old child. And this is where it gets dicey. You're telling me that huh, that you can do whatever you want because you're the President of the United States. No. The President of the United States must abide by the same laws every other citizen has to follow. And that whole thing about shooting people at Fifth Avenue but you're not going to lose a vote? I might see that, but I'm also going to say that, oh, you shot someone, you're charged with attempted murder. I didn't kill the guy who can't. Hey, you shot him. You're under arrest. See, that's the same thing that everyone has to follow. It doesn't matter that Trump is the president. If he shoots someone, even if he misses, that's still attempted murder. Donald Trump cannot win in this. The only way he's going to win right now is in the Senate. And we've already heard that. Um, Lindsey Graham and Mitch McConnell are saying that we're going to say he's not guilty. I know we haven't done this. I know we haven't started the trial yet. And I know we have to do an oath to, to, uh, to our rules. But we are going to vote not guilty regardless. In other words, the Senate is going to will run a sham trial just to appease the public. Yeah. He's in, he'll be impeached. And he won't be removed from from office by the Senate. But he will be removed as well as every Republican who has sided with him coming next November. That's what I'm going to say right there. So people, so conservatives, you might want to spend your last few months with a president who doesn't give a crap about you.